And is it likely going to continue to decline, keep declining? Well, it is already, Betty. I mean, gold at one point was down over $100 today. Haven't seen this kind of move pretty much forever. Now, the panic really started on Friday. Fed members have been talking more forcefully about pulling back on QE. Inflation has not materialized. Cyprus might sell some of its gold and Goldman Sachs saying to short the metal. So really a quadruple whammy for the market. So how much longer will it fall? Well, Bespoke crunched the numbers and found that since 1975, there have been 13 bear markets. From the beginning of the bear market to the bottom, the average decline is over 14%. If that trend continues, it would push gold down to 1281 an ounce. Well, it seems kind of crazy, right, Betty? But maybe not. Some of my sources telling me there are some big institutions selling perhaps margin calls. Remember, Cyprus might also be looking to offload about 10 tons of gold. And the down move has triggered a massive amount of sell stops where traders are forced to sell to protect profits, really picking up momentum to the, down to the downside, Betty. And the physical buying? Right. Well, this is really the wild card. Typically, Asia jumps in when prices dip. Jewelry buying represents about 45 percent of demand, with the lion's share really coming from China and India. Now, UBS says there was a pickup in Indian buying on Friday, but China was mysteriously absent. And either way, it might not be enough to make up for heavy investor selling. On Friday, 1,140 tons of gold changed hands in the futures market on the COMEX. That is more than the total annual gold demand of China or India, Betty.